Hello, friends. How are you all? So this is my pear plant, and I have done air layering on it. I bought this pear plant from a nursery, and now it has started growing quite well. It hasn't produced much fruit yet, but I am doing air layering on it. It has started to grow branches from here, and has stopped growing the previous branches. So, I have done air layering on these branches. I did the air layering three months ago using sphagnum moss. I selected sphagnum moss because I had seen on platforms like ChatGPT and in many other places that air layering with sphagnum moss works really well. So, let's cut it now and share the result with you all. How it has grown and developed. So now, we have cut it. Let's check it out. And I'm very excited to open it and see. Now we have placed it here. At the moment, I don't know if there are any leaves or roots inside, but I'm about to cut it open. I'm going to completely open it and see whether roots have formed or not. So this is how the pear air layering has turned out. This is the first time I've tried it with sphagnum moss to see if air layering works with it or not. I've never used sphagnum moss for air layering before, so this is my first time. My area is quite hot, so I chose sphagnum moss because it helps in such conditions. Because it retains moisture for a long time. Now let's check how roots have formed in this moisture. I think there should be good root development, because I used sphagnum moss, which never loses moisture. So now, let's open it. Let's see why I can't see any roots in it. So far, I can only see a single leaf. Let's open it more and check. I think there are no roots. We'll open it further and remove the sphagnum moss. It feels quite warm. It shouldn't be this hot. So, slowly, we're removing it to see what's inside. Oh, inside, I don't see any roots at all. It just came off like this. It's really disappointing that the roots didn't develop. I can see only two small roots formed, nothing else. There's no proper root development in this sphagnum moss. I don't know the reason, friends, why this happened. I used sphagnum moss because it retains moisture and helps roots develop quickly. But here, roots didn't form. Although you can see callus formation here, roots couldn't develop. I think excessive moisture prevented the roots from growing. Maybe because of too much moisture. Roots didn't feel the need to grow. They were getting enough water and nutrients from the moss. So, this could be a major reason why the air layering failed. Now, I'm going to check the second air layering I did. I did it on the same branch, and it showed some growth. So I think roots should have developed here. I'm going to cut it and check. So I did this one using a rooting device. Let's see how the air layering turned out in the rooting device. I also used sphagnum moss in this one.
Let's open it now. This one also feels warm, even though we had heavy rains last week. Let's open it with a blade. I think there should be roots. Maybe it has grown some shoots. This air layering was done in a device I ordered online. I did it on my pear plant, and it's been three to four months now. But I don't see roots yet. Let's open it fully and check. So I opened it. And no, no! This one also disappointed me. No roots here either. Inside, you can see some strange organisms have developed due to excessive moisture. The sphagnum moss also got very bad. It smells now. So, I didn't like sphagnum moss because it didn't develop roots in any air layering. Due to too much moisture, roots didn't develop at all. There's only callus formation, but no roots came out. So now, I will do air layering again, but not in this video. In this video, I just wanted to show you whether sphagnum moss is good for air layering or not. From my experience, I think sphagnum moss is not a good choice for air layering. For air layering, you should either use organic compost, cocoa peat, or garden soil, just like I usually do. So I will use organic compost now for air layering, or I will mix it with my garden clay soil, and then do air layering again on the pear plant. But right now, the season for air layering is over because this is not the right season. When the season comes back, we will try it again. Right now, I'm just opening this up to see why the roots didn't form. If I check inside, you can see how much water is stored in it. This water might have stored because of the heavy rainfall we had, and the sphagnum moss absorbed too much water. This excess water was very harmful for root formation. The roots couldn't form, and even the ones that started forming rotted away. Now, when I lift this up, you can see how much water is inside. It's still very wet. Too much moisture. Look at this. So much water is stored in it. This excess water has been very damaging for root development, and that's why roots couldn't develop. So I just wanted to tell you that both of our air layerings completely failed. And these branches are not usable for growth. We won't be shifting them into any pot or plant. We will just throw them away because this attempt failed. So, friends, this was important to share with you. Sphagnum moss might be okay in some cases, but for me, it didn't work for air layering. Next time, I will use my own growing medium for air layering. So, we'll meet again in the next video with another topic. Until then, subscribe to this channel so you can watch more videos related to gardening and air layering.